not meant to sit in your kana and say you are a believer. You are supposed to be with people. It's a body. All right. Good day and welcome to my channel. Today, by the grace of God, according to the title, I'm here to talk about something that's very important. It's something that would help you if you want to grow in your work with God. No, it's not only for new believers or people that have just found God. It's for everybody, regardless of whatever stage you are at in your Christian work. It's very essential and it's what will build you. It's part of the, the few things that would build you and help you become a better and a stronger Christian. Yes. So, let me quickly move on to... Um, the other benefits of having Christian friends, they help each other when they fall. If let's say you have a Christian brother and um, at a point in time you fall or you fall you fall into a temptation. What's that? Yes. Anyways, if you fall into sorry. Cars normally don't pass here, so if I hear a car pass and I have to give it attention. I think it's just someone person. Anyway, sorry. Yes. Then the second benefit is that um, they check up on each other to ensure that they don't fall. And if in case you fall, it's easier to recover because of the bread that are surrounded by you. Then also another benefit of having Christian friends is that you combine your abilities for greater purposes. Of the body of Christ was never meant to be lived like in in secrecy you are not meant to be a holy hermit you are not meant to sit in your corner and say you are a believer you are supposed to be with people it's a body a body that my heart my, my whole body if right now i lose my heart or my heart starts to fail i've lost something my body can't function as it's supposed to be if they cut off my right hand something will happen. If they cut off my finger, something will happen. The body won't be able to function as it's supposed to be. And that's why there's a five-fold ministry. They all work together to make, to edify the saints and to make sure that we bring the body of Christ into a perfect state. That's the essence of the five-fold ministry combined. And so I can be, let's say I'm a prophetess. I have a pastor friend. We have an evangelist friend. I have a teacher. I have an apostle. We join hands, join our abilities, join our strength, join our giftings to make the church a better, or to make the body a perfect body, a body without blemish. That's the essence of, that's one of the benefits of having Christian friends. You can combine your abilities with them. I'll very soon, I'll be going on evangelism, and I think on Instagram, I've already received, people have already told me they would like to join when it's time, blah, 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 blah. And some of them are administrators, some of them are pastors some of them have the gift of prophecy some have this some have this and we are all going to join forces some will sing some will minister because not everybody can pray not everybody is an intercessor not everybody is a prophet not everybody is a worshiper um is gifted in worship for being a worshiper is standard for every christian but not everybody is has that gift so we we'll all join hands and join our giftings and minister to the people of god does it that's one of the benefits and another thing i wrote down was that there's there's a relation there's a relation between those you normally spend time with or what you spend time doing and what you would eventually become if you sit down and lock yourself up somewhere and constantly read the word speak to god let's say you give yourself about three days doing that someone will call that waiting and you go and wait on God and come back. By the time you come back, it would be visible. Any time spent in the house of God changes something about you. It may not be something on the outward. It could be something on the inward. And it may not be an instant change, but it could be a gradual change. But every change is change. Every change is change. And the greatest change you need in your life is change itself. And so what you constantly do, what you, you give time to, what you do regularly would make you... If you see a professor, it means he has gradually been in lecture halls, been in schools, listened to a lot of things, read a lot of books to reach such a status. You don't just get up out there and just say, I'm a, prof I'm a professor, call me professor. And everybody will start calling you. We will call you that and be laughing, but not 
an actual professor so whatever you give time to is what becomes you whatever you surround yourself with eventually you would become like that thing no one is um, independent of influence from of external influence everyone is influenced by something and everything around them so be careful of those you allow into your space be careful of the people you allow into your life not everybody needs to be your friend and understand that too well People don't understand this about me. Some even are not happy about it, but I understand it too well. It's my work with God. It's what he has instructed me to do, and I'm doing it like that. So, we've come to the end of this video, and thank you very much for watching even to this point. If you watched to the end, please just leave a comment in the comment section so that I know you watched. And please like, comment, and subscribe. I don't know why you would watch and be blessed and not subscribe and share this video so yes please do that and my thoughts may seem jumbled and all over the place and that's because as you know the original video um was 34 minutes long and i have to post them in part so that's the reason why till the next time i post as i always say just make sure wherever you are you bring down the glory of god and live with the consciousness uh, not be here for long this is not our final home thank you very much god bless you and i love you so much.